Viewer discretion is advised. Your fave will be criticized. Dick Jean! <laughs> That's Jan. That's Chris. And welcome to CCTV, the nonstop pop show. And today we will be discussing Treasure's much anticipated comeback with Dick Jin. If you're wondering who we are, Shan and I have a huge range of experience in the music industry, from performing on stage to working at record labels, so we have a lot of insight into the crazy music industry. That's right, we do. And Treasure, if you're wondering, is a 12-member K-pop boy group formed in 2019 by YG Entertainment, known for legendary acts, including Big Bang, who are having a comeback, <laughs> 21. Mm. And after only a few public activities in 2021, the group is finally back with the title track, Jik Jin, the EP, The Second Step, Chapter 1. So that's fun, Chapter 1, all right. And it actually surpassed 600,000 pre-orders, so the anticipation was huge. Mm. But uh, is this song a bop? Mm. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so before we get into it, what is your experience with this group? Uh, for me... I really don't know too much about them, honestly. Uh -huh. I liked Boy. I thought that was a really strong debut track, uh -huh. and and it was it had it was a cool track, I think. Uh -huh. um, and I did like that one single from last year, My Treasure. <laughs> I thought it was cute, you know. <laughs> that um, one I did go through some of their back catalog this morning, um, and yeah, some of the album tracks are decent. So I, I think the potential is definitely there, but I don't know too much about them. But I uh -huh. do love, you know, Big Bang and Icon and and yeah. winner so mm -hmm. you know i feel like yg has a high standard so i right. then have a high standard for them oh so true so true yeah. you know which would explain uh, a, a lot of the uh, talking we're gonna have today mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah honestly i know very little about this group uh, the only thing i remember was the title of their survival show like treasure box and i was yes. like oh god here we go here's another one here's another show <laughs> i mean at this point I'm, I'm kind of over the survival shows i mean it helps to create relationships but honestly eh, over it especially from yg that man that man that company will sit there and say yeah we're doing this and then ghost you and then you know have a new group coming it's weird yeah so, lots of use of a dungeon and yg yeah and that's exactly <laughs> why i didn't get into them at first that's exactly why because i thought like i was side-eyeing them a little bit because i thought you know why are they debuting another group when they haven't really done anything for their mains like Blackpink, Icon, um, et cetera. So, um, but when they came out, I can't say I was actually paying attention. Um, up, not until, mm, mm, mm -hmm. I don't know why, mm. uh, but yeah, hot take, <laughs> hot take. I love that song. Real hot take for me. Uh, okay. The, the rap line does it for me. <laughs> are they of age? <laughs> 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 that's just gonna be a recurring thing in every episode now um <laughs> I have to double check now did we ever find out if Rowan was of age um yes he was of age when with a debut yeah okay listen by the way if you don't know what we're talking about <laughs> y'all should definitely check out our <laughs> our pop-off episode featuring sf9 which is coming out in a couple of weeks so stay tuned for that and uh getting into is it boppin let's find out this is is it boppin here we listen to the song and discuss the production lyrics video and everything in between so let's find out is it a bop or a flop so let's first talk about the song <laughs> itself so this was done by Sunny, Lil G, Choice 37, LP, Hey, Say A, Future Bounce, and members Choi, Hyun Suk, Yoshi, and Haruto. Wow, that's a lot of people. Word. Yeah. Word. Um, <laughs> but that's great that the members are, are contributing. Are, is that, are those the rappers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yes, so that's yes. great that they're already, you know, it's YG. They're known for rappers. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that they're already kind of taking that on. Okay. Um, all right, so the production. First off, mm. I'm glad there are guitars in here. I yeah. love guitars, even though they're super processed in this song. <laughs> um, right. But that mixed with the many, many synths that then come in. I appreciate the contrast. <laughs> um, there is, it is a very bass-driven production. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think the way the whole build is and with the ending kind of going yeah. into that hyperdrive 
thing. This whole thing just yeah, reminds right. me of Big Bang's Bang Bang Bang. Yeah, very similar build, similar vibe. Yes, um, and similar sounds as well. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of just my first instinct. But, totally. you know, I think the production is good overall. It's very full. It has some interesting noises and contrast throughout. Um, I yeah. like the car sounds that show up. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they did their best with what the song is. So Right. Yeah. I, I, I agree. I agree. Um, this does have a lot going on. And it does have... It does have a lot of just YG-ness in it. I think with Treasure, they've been able to take... Because the, the producers have been able to kind of cherry pick the best parts, the gems of the older groups, and then put it, giving it to this group. Uh, because I heard a lot of just YG groups everywhere in this, you know? And one thing about this group that I, I have noticed is that you'll always get a generic boy group verse. You know, the whole, I love you girls, <laughs> sweetness, right before a brassy or an EDM or a future-based chorus with minimal words. And yes. then a second rap verse before closing out with that YG Big Bang-esque chant, right? Um, <laughs> no tea, no shade, I'm just saying. Yeah. I, just I, the <laughs> structure, it's just the structure that they like, yeah. Yeah, and I, I was just like, okay, okay, all right. Um, the rockish beginning really reminded me of Big Bang and Winner, right until it started to sound like Icon. Um, and these comparisons don't mean that it's bad, it's just familiarity and typicality attract me, which is good. I mean, you want that, especially with like new, younger groups from the same company, why should I like them? Why shouldn't I go back into the, you know, the archives and listen to an older group, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but one thing about the chorus I really need to point out with the the production, uh, vocally and instrumentation wise, I like the panning of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, you could. Yes. Okay, that worked. <laughs> For those of you who couldn't see her, she was attempting to go left and right. I was panning. Um, I was panning. She was panning, but she, her mic, she is her mic is in one spot there. So <laughs> I was shanning, you know, I was trying my best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I thought that was interesting. Um uh right at the chorus, ching ching. And then right around the the chorus, there are some really fun productions. Uh there is this really brassy noise that Yes. And then there are some orchest orchestral strings to really punctuate some of their movements i thought that was cool and then there's like this really there's one bass slide right after the second um jin like chant Ooh. Ooh. so subtle but i love it and i have to say the rap section um there is this pitch siren thing the i don't know i, know, I hate it i don't love it i don't love it i don't love it what about you I didn't mind the synths. I, yeah, I didn't mind that, actually. I think it kind of works with the vibe of it. Um, getting into the vocals, I think the vocal production overall sounds really good. Everyone yeah. sounds clear, very strong. And I think as a group, and which mm -hmm. this, you would hope this with a group with so many members, that there are a lot of different tones in there. They all yeah. sound very different. I like that they yeah. kind of just go line by line switching members. It keeps it interesting and, mm -hmm. and they all do sound different, which is good. Yeah. Um, and the rap line, I think you mentioned earlier, I mean, I guess you were talking more visually, but oh. vocally, <laughs> the rap line is really good. There's yeah. so much promise there. Yeah. It, they're very natural rappers. You know, there mm -hmm. are some groups where it kind of feels like, you know, they're kind of forced to be the rappers and there's no yeah. real intention behind it. Mm -hmm. um, but with them, it, there totally is. And so yeah. that's really exciting because um, again, YG, you know, a lot of their groups are known for their rapping abilities. So mm -hmm. it's good to see some young potential there. Yeah. And um, that chorus, um, not Ooh. my favorite, uh, is a little annoying for me. Ooh, um, I just yeah, wish it was more anthemic or, or more melodic. I don't really know. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But it was produced well overall. And I do yeah. like the contrast with the pedal to the metal or, or oh know, yeah. yeah like the i think the contrast the metal. yeah the, yeah the, between that and the jig gin or you know that yeah yeah i like that that the, it has depth to it so you're yeah. right it does add a certain like energy that i wouldn't say is lacking there but it's just it's just because there is no choral voices in the chorus <laughs> that's the only core metal to the metal you know yeah. they had all 12 guys going into that room the booth at least, <laughs> hey, hey, can you just yell pedal to the metal real quick? You can hear it. You can hear it. And it's mixed <laughs> yeah. well, you know? Yeah. But I, I agree with you in the sense of like, there's no melody really. Like I would have loved to have heard an actual chorus 
with this but this style is on brand for this group i mean like i said their past lead singles have been very much like words words you know so it works for them i guess but um i will say what really kind of uh just to kind of tie in the the lyrical uh, concept as well the vocal line in this group because they all have different uh tones and really like unique voices Mm -hmm. When the pre pre choruses came around, or when the bridge came around, it was very distinctive, and it's like, oh, there's the sentimentality that this song is trying to convey because this song is really aggressive, and I'm not getting like sweetness. Um, yeah, <laughs> unless they were singing. Like this song is a little like, eh. but um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, the song is a little aggressive, and I guess that's on brand for them. That's their wheelhouse. I get it. But one thing about YG. That, I mean, that is the one thing about YG that isn't my favorite. I mean, like, they will chant your ass to death at the end of a song, all right? Like, mm-hmm. let your vocalist belt a little something, something. Go modulate a bit, something. Give me something. But, you know. Yeah. You will hear that in the B-sides. There is a yeah. B-side on this mini or this EP called You that I thought mm-hmm. was really great, actually. And there are more vocal shining moments. So, yes. yeah, I guess, again, you know, this goes back to my whole idea that k-pop now is just so performance based you know Uh, uh, yeah that's what this song is made for so yes you're so right and honestly because it's so bombastic my favorite word (laughs) because it is so bombastic and like braggadocious sounding with the brass i don't get love from this i mean lyrically speaking what what did you think the song was about oh man i was i thought i was on the wrong i clicked the wrong (laughs) song when i looked up these lyrics i was like what um because yeah you're right the lyrics are very sweet and they're about like you know yearning and wanting someone so bad that you want to just like run to them mm-hmm. this song does <laughs> not sound like that at all um so yeah a little confused yeah but I'm sorry for laughing so much but yeah. literally when i heard this song i was like okay they haven't been they haven't been out for like a year this is like hey we're coming back pedal to the yeah. metal you know we're going straight into our future not yes not straight into your girl. heart yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah i will say that um like i said for a song about love this thing was intense okay <laughs> but <laughs> this literally this literally went from like zero to 100 like <laughs> for no reason like this lyrics are saying i'm on fire can't stop my burning heart to just go straight no rules no guide just go forward push uh, pedal to the metal i'm like what is happening you know um <laughs> Like, like that being said, though, the way I would describe this song is like, you know, a rose with silver spikes as the thorns. So it's like, you got to be a little careful. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm here. I'm here. Good visual. Good visual. Thank you. Speaking of visuals. Yep. This video. Mm-hmm. I heard it caused about, what, 500 million Korean won to do yes. this? So is that a lot? According really? to Google, that is oh. just over $400,000 in U.S. dollars. Is that a lot? Um, Okay, so from my experience at a an American major mm-hmm. label, that's it's a lot, you know, but it's not unheard of at all. Um, right. I've definitely seen videos cost more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out, and then no one will know. <laughs> but um, I think for a, a label that is so big but mm-hmm. has so few artists. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that absurd that they would spend this much money on them. You know, they only have them. And I mean, how many active groups does YG even have right now? It's like four. Oh, three. Okay. Blackpink. Blackpink are not even active. They've been in the dungeon too. Um, (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Anyway, Mm -hmm. um, this video didn't look particularly expensive. It didn't look cheap, but it's not like it stood out as like, whoa, you know? Right. Um, Okay. Just a little weird that they would make it a point to report on that you know what you know what i have i have a theory i feel like they released the budget like the expenses like they were like oh we spent this much as a sense to generate hype like hey listen we've been gone for a while it's been a long time Mm -hmm. shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to Mm -hmm. and the 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 beat to step to cost 500 million (laughs) one so i think that was just to kind of generate hype because maybe the company that did the video cost a lot of money but like you said there was nothing iconic about the video do they look good <laughs> it's been confirmed they do <laughs> but there was nothing that was really like wow you know um i mean i saw a highway i saw a subway construction sites a garage i mean they look cool 
And I guess that's the point. Um, the lighting was really interesting in certain sections to emphasize parts of the song and parts of the lyrics. Like the chorus dance space, that little like cementy LED panels. Yes. Like, the lights are dancing with them. Like when the chorus comes in, like tick tick, and the brass comes, the orange light expands and contracts with them. And then at the end, when they're chanting and yelling at the girl, um, <laughs> 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 the graphics rush towards you. So it definitely adds that you know visual like visual cues and whatnot for that. So I like that part. But honestly, aside from some lovely color grading and some really cinematic shots in the forest and whatnot in the cars. Eh. Yeah, um, I think there yeah, there's some cool scenes in here. I like mm -hmm. the garage with all the cars. I mm -hmm. think the whole car thing obviously makes sense with the pedal to the metal hook. Mm -hmm. I almost think they could have gone even bigger with the car thing, honestly, yeah. like, it, I don't know, like, I feel like it could have even been more industrial or uh, even i don't know even grittier i think yeah some grungy looking not so like yeah yeah um i will say i think the scene with the blonde one who i think is hyun suk i'm sorry if that's yes. wrong um but yes right the one with him like racing in his just on a yeah. game in his room yeah that was just a good contrast um just a different vibe from the rest and i think yeah. there's another rapper who had like the white room with the lasers and the oh, blue graffiti yes, um, and stuff. Haruto. yeah so I, I those scenes stood out to me and then i think I think some of them are definitely better on camera or at least more natural oh, on camera than others. Mm -hmm. I think the one that stood out to me the most was Asahi. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, um, but yes. definitely, I don't know. This is interesting. I don't know if some of these guys can really pull off the swag thing really, well. Oh, yeah, because really some of them are well. really cute. Yeah, some of them like cute in the face or like really innocent looking so that the eye. Yeah, so they end up just kind of looking blank, you know? Uh -huh. um, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just interesting. I, again, I don't know them too well, it, you mm -hmm. know, so I, I have to kind of evaluate them a little more, but that's yeah. just from kind of a first impression. Yeah, objective, kind of more objective. We're not like really attached to these guys. So if you are a fan, I think it's called Treasure Maker. If you are, no, Treasure Maker is the whole, what's the fandom name? Leave a comment below if you know the fandom name, if you are a fan, because we don't really know. So that's why we're coming at this really objectively. Um, but subjectively speaking, can I just say, Red haired cherry boy, uh, Yoshi. Mm. He, that boy was moving and shaking. He forgot he was in a group. <laughs> he forgot <laughs> he was in a group. Him and um, Asahi really stood out for me. Um, almost called Asahi, like Asahi, like Barry. It's so, such what a cute name. Um, mm. But yeah, those two really stood out to me as well, especially in certain parts of the choreography and the performance. And we're recording the video right before any live performance has been done or any choreography yeah. video has been released we usually wait but um but yeah we wanted to talk about it so here we are talking about it right mm -hmm. um but yeah so the choreography is like from what i could see it was it was cool um i think that the rap lines core uh, choreography in the second verse is so in the pocket oh my god i loved it uh which hyun hyunsuk hyunsuk mm -hmm, hyun the blonde yeah. one yeah he Honey, when his part came up, he was giving it to me. Yeah. And like I said, Yoshi, again, he forgets he's in the group because he'll throw his head back. No one else is doing it but him. Um, and I think, uh, did you figure out what the point dance was? Okay, so I assume it's the chorus, obviously. Right, um, but what part? Is it, I guess the hand the shaking thing. Tamb or, the, or the oh yeah, the car the driving stick shift. thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, the choreo is definitely very YG, right? Yeah, it's very totally. hip hop based. It's hard hitting. It's it's mm -hmm. filled with swag. There's yeah. nothing super technical, but there are a few kind of quick and difficult moments. And it's really just focused on pure energy. Totally. Honestly. Totally. Um, yeah. And the musicality was really good. You know, they're hitting all the little synths. They're hitting the the level of energy that each song, each part of the song brings. Yeah. Um, and you know, the outro, of course, is just like a lot of jumping. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. I love that part. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I'm not saying it's bad. No, oh, no, okay, no. Okay. It, it matches and it yeah. looks really fun to do. Um, obviously, like you said, we haven't seen the full thing yet, but mm. I did enjoy some of the more transitional moments that we do mm -hmm. get to see in the video, like the, the circle. Um, oh yeah first first where mo they're all on their knees or mm -hmm. um there's like a little moment with like just kind of small hand movements oh, in the yes. bridge yeah um so yeah, yeah i look forward to seeing the whole performance but yeah it looks really fun I, you know i agree with you and um the ending part it was interesting because <laughs> it's it's not hard but it requires a lot of stamina right like the kick the, it, i call it a little kick line they were giving us mm -hmm. 
I got what some 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 random kicks, and then like every eight counts, the 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 movement would change. We got some kicks. We have like the shoot dance. We got a little house movement. Got some some. They, they were sitting there jacking as they yeah, were yeah, dancing. Yeah. They were throwing their hands up, and then every eight counts is changing, and the formation was changing as well. So I think it's really fun, and I would like to learn that part just for like you know s's and g's i'm not gonna say the s word you know mm. s's and giggles i think it's really just fun uh at the end but yeah honestly i i wish i would have like had a little bit more of a stronger like point dance but mm-hmm. i'll take the little stick shift you know amazing race moment i guess mm-hmm. um <laughs> as for a rating though all together we had pretty like positive reviews what did you what did you think about the song did you like it did you not i mean i think it has good elements but i think it ha- it's non-chorus kind of brings it down for me mm. um like i wouldn't really choose to listen to this really mm. on my on, like on my own um <laughs> so honestly i will give this a six Ooh. it's yg i have really high expectations i prefer pretty much all their other title tracks like boy and i love you and like i think those are all better than this song oh. uh-huh. to be honest okay. um so yeah sorry the song isn't there for me Oh, okay, okay. Well, I give it a, um, you're right. I, I gave it a seven, actually. I didn't give it like a high score, but I gave it a seven. It wasn't, or maybe like a 7.5. It's really sitting in that, because I didn't like it at first and it had to grow on me. But then when mm-hmm. it did, I started noticing there was too many slim- similarities <laughs> to their older singles. So I wasn't like really impressed. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, Ooh, sorry, guys. I mean, hopefully as we see some more performances or, if we get another freaking mini album this year, hopefully. I'm sure there's now part two if they call this part one, right? Be- like... Hopefully before 2023. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know? I, I would think yeah. after their year in the dungeon, they have a Crazy. lot ready to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I don't, I think the potential is definitely there. Mm. Um, I, I just have high expectations, honestly. Um, they're a really talented group. It's YG. Mm. So yeah. that means the budget is there too. And so, mm. yeah, I, I feel like they're in a good spot. Um, yeah. hope, I'm, it's kind of amazing how, how much their EP sold, um, right. even just in pre-orders, right? So, right. so yeah, mm-hmm. the potential is definitely there. Let's see what mm. happens next. For now, I'll take you. Oh, yeah, I'll wait for you the was, next one. You is so cute. Um, yeah, their B-sides definitely have potentials, uh, potential, excuse me. And I'm, although I'm not a huge fan of them, I do find myself liking their songs. I might, not even might, I will probably, I keep saying might probably, I will revisit this song, uh, most likely in the gym, um, just to kind of keep my energy going a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, I agree with you. You is cool and da da di that mm. is it's really cute because it lets the vocalist shine and even yoshi sings so i mean but honestly i would like some more risk taking for yg i would love that from them um but you know what our opinions apparently uh don't matter that much because this song is projected to hit number one so we'll see what yeah. happens on those music shows especially yeah. with nmex coming out hmm. mm. Yeah. Speaking of which, make sure y'all check out our JYP girl groups and and mix predictions from a couple of weeks ago. It was a really fun episode to shoot. Yes, and we will be reviewing and mix's debut song as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we still out here. <laughs> but yes, what do you all think of Treasure's latest comeback? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or hit us up on social media at CCTV Pops on everything. So please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. And for our listeners, give us a rating and a review on your podcast platform of choice. Until next time, that's Chris. That's Shan. And we are CCTV. Bye.